My name is Ksenia, I'm an interior designer. I work with different spaces, houses, apartments, anything basically that's on your mind. As long as you know what kind of vibe you're looking for, I can do that for you. Here, what we've done is uh, the client wanted to bring back, they had this kind of remade modern apartment, three very spacious rooms, but the house is a very old house. It's basically uh, mid 20th century and all of its historical vibe and historical kind of interior legacy was gone when they bought it. So they wanted to kind of bring it back to make it, to give it a sense uh, that it was like a family home, for example. Like a family home that was in their family for a few generations and like passed down with things passed down from their grandmothers, their great grandparents also. Uh, and we kind of had to fill that here, so to bring it here. So when we started doing this project, we were looking for smarter ways to bring vintage here. So without spending too much money and without it costing them a fortune, we were looking for things to buy from like people who wanted to get rid of their old furniture and also brought in some like restoration people who could uh, fix up just these old buffets and uh, these old dressers to make them look to kind of not make them look totally new, but leave that vintage vibe. So a modern kitchen, as we all know, has way more appliances than basically any old kitchen could have ever had. So here we tried to find a way uh, how to bring modern appliances, like a modern looking kitchen, inside this very vintage looking apartment without it kind of feeling as if it's out of place. What we tried to do here is we worked with the walls. So we gave this, the walls, like symmetrical molding here on this part near the table. And the same thing we did on the other part with the kitchen, but we kind of cut it in half. So it's like telling a story as if it's, it was there before the kitchen came along. And uh, when the new owners came here and they needed a modern kitchen, as if they kind of respecting the old, moldings that were there before them. They kind of accurately cut a little bit of the molding off and placed kind of backsplash in modern tiles and uh, put in modern kitchen full of appliances. This basically is an Ikea kitchen. So you wouldn't know it from first glance because a lot of just the little details have been replaced here. Like, uh, for example, these knobs, the handles, they're different. We bought them from a vintage shop and we kind of placed them on these modern IKEA cabinets. And also we tried to make the whole layout of the kitchen give it a more retro feeling. So we didn't have anything to hang on the walls. We didn't want any of that. We wanted it to have a, an open kind of space over here in, in the working area. So what we did to store all the, you know, the, the glasses and the silverware and everything, we put these just regular uh, IKEA one meter cabinets right on top of the countertop and uh, combine them with the fridge section over here. So basically this gave it a very non-IKEA, very uh, classical look to the whole kitchen. And also this solved the problem with this uh, edge over here, it being less functional if you just leave it open. So now we have just two cabinets here that kind of make this edge even better to use. So what we wanted to do in this bedroom, it's not very spacious, but it doesn't need to be because basically it's just about a bed, a couple of side tables, just a little workspace, a desk near the window, and that's basically it. So we want it to feel uh, very warm. The color scheme here is very warm and all the details are also like the textile, the colors of the furniture is also very warm. Also what we tried to do is uh, add a little bit of vintage detail to kind of go in with the whole apartment. and this. Is is a 19th century piece from China so it's uh, more of it has a more of a decorative function now so this uh, and it has this very lovely hand-painted uh, ornament all over all of this gives the room an actual feeling of warmth and uh, comfort when you come into it and also we have this kind of modern touch that makes it easier to live in it uh, we have a walk-in closet that goes 
right through. It's got a lot of storage, basically all the storage you could ask. And you can walk right through to the entry hall, the mudroom. So here we are, right in the entry hall. A little piece of advice, if you're trying to get a historical feeling in an apartment that's never had this historical feeling before, it's always useful to imagine a history this house could have had before. So like imagine your ancestors, your parents, your grandparents living here. Where would they put their food? Where would they cook their meals? How would they spend their evenings? Where would they read a book? So, and if you kind of get this picture in your head, it doesn't have to be a real, it can be just whatever it is you imagine it to be. So as long as it's like real people and you imagine them living, actually using the space for themselves. And then kind of everything comes together when you do that. So you kind of get all the places the furniture has to be in and where a period piece, like a vintage piece, would be more interesting to stand, for example. You would get that feeling immediately if you just lay it out in your head how they would have used this place. Subscribe to this channel for more interesting interior tips, uh, designs, wonderful pictures and inspiration for your home.